So we went to the sushi restaurant and he watched me eat sushi and he was like, listen, boy, <laughs> that's not how we eat sushi in this country. <laughs> You're listening to Small Talk Kagoshima, the best English podcast discussing everything you love about Japan. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Small Talk. You should actually put that in there. <laughs> Just like that. Small Talk Kagoshima. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima in English. These are、uh, My name is Michi. These are my co hosts. Natsuki. I cannot say this. Co hosts. There you go. Natsuki. Hato. And also, Josh. Manning the, manning the computer system over there is. Turn、Josh. your mic on, dude. Josh here. Hi, ho. Josh here. All right, guys.、Uh, I want to start off today's show with talking about what we were just doing right before eating. Okay.、Uh, here in Kagoshima, we got a lot of really good food. And I want to ask you guys what your favorite restaurant is. Not, not like lunchtime, not dinner time, just in general. What's your favorite restaurant to go to and why? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Indian curry. Okay. So I. And I like to go to Indian curry restaurant. Which one do you recommend? <laughs> talking like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what,、uh, what, what restaurant do you like, Hayato? The one in Izuin. Oh. Now it's called Shiva, but、mm. now it wasn't called Shiva before. Tara. Huh? Is it run by real, like, yeah, real yeah, yeah. Indian yes, crew? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. so it's like the real deal, the、uh, real Ch- stuff. Chiba is the name of the. Shiba. Shiba. Shiba.、Yeah. Shiba. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think it's franchise. But anyway, I. <laughs> Um, uh, Shiva is a god. It's a or, god, yes. Yeah,、uh, that's, it's right.、Mm. Um, that's what I could think of, top of my head. All right, Natsuki, what about you? Ramen. Hey, which ramen place? Zabon. Zabon ramen. ramen.、Mm, okay. Near my house.、Uh, that is what flavor? Niniku tonkotsu. Tonkotsu, for you guys at home who don't understand, is like a pig、Born. bone broth、mm-hmm. soup. Yeah, but you know, there are many ramen restaurants in the world these days. So many people will know that. Tonkotsu. Yeah, actually, funny enough,、uh, ramen restaurants in, like, for example, New York or like LA are so expensive. Yeah, I hear that. 20 bucks. Yeah, about 20 bucks a bowl. 30 bucks. Yeah.、Mm. It's because the ingredients that go into the bowl are actually kind of expensive in other countries,、mm-hmm. not in Japan. But.、Mm-hmm. And also, like, I mean, really, it's hard to make ramen. The, the soup takes so long to, to make. And, you know, it's just it's hard to do that as a restaurant. Yeah. But, but I, I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. But I, 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 I think it's very fascinating, <laughs> ramen. And ramen shops, or even like curry shops, where you can kind of experiment with what different ingredients.、Mm-hmm. Some, you know, some shops use chicken bones, some、uh, use fish or vegetable. And so it's like, wow, it's very fascinating、yeah. what the, their concentration,、mm-hmm. not concentration, but their attitude towards making the, the best soup. I,、uh... I was really sad this year that the Kagoshima ramen like festival was yeah, canceled, it's canceled. Due, due to the coronavirus.、Mm-hmm. But that's a really interesting what I've never actually gone as a participant. I would only just see from far away. Have you,、oh. have you guys actually gone to eat? Every year. Every year. Yeah. Can you tell us like, what, what it's like、uh, for you guys at home? Like, they have this giant event where they have all these different ramen restaurants that compete with each other、mm-hmm. in this giant field.、Mm. And like, Tell us about the experience. So you go. Buy your ticket. It costs like, how much is it? Like 500 yen or something? No, no, more than that. Like, in the, you know, if you buy the ticket before you go there, it's like only 500. But you know, on the day, probably、like、800 yen. I can't remember. But anyway,、uh, so you can buy, first, you have to buy tickets and then wait. In a line. In a line. Now, it's really funny because they have all the little shops,、mm-hmm. right? And like, <laughs> Some of them are like. It's like a fair. So, yeah, it's like a fair. Some of them have like a two hour long line、That's、that you have to wait. That's too much. That's too much. Not two hours. One、like. hour long line. Yeah. <laughs> that you have to wait for.、Mm-hmm. Other shops are like, there's no one there. 
Yeah. There's like they're not popular, so they're like nobody lines up at their shops. So they're just like anybody, come on, please yeah. buy so, a ramen. <laughs> yeah. So I usually go there with my husband and friends, and we, you know, wait in the different line, yeah. and then you know we buy the ramen, and then you know gather together and then share the ramen, so that we can enjoy many flavors. So this is probably why it was it was canceled this year for the coronavirus. <laughs> if you're sharing your ramen, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I know it's gross, but I can do it with my close friends and husband. Now, do, don't they have like a winner? It's a contest, right? Yeah, it's a contest. How do it's you put your chopsticks or something? What I uh, forgot. You know, when you buy a ticket, they give us a coin. Okay. Mm-hmm, and then token. Token. Yeah, token. Nice word, token. Thank you. And then in the Last we bolt, which one is the best? Ah, uh, so like the box. Wait, wait. So if you get one bowl, you get one token. Mm-hmm. So can you put more multiple tokens in one day? If you want to, if you buy, you know, ticket, many tickets, but, and then yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right, sorry. yeah. It's they kill you. Well, that's you cool. it's, it's like, but one thing though, it's it's kind of uh. For me, I was just wondering because you have to buy tickets, right? And then mm-hmm. how much is a ticket? Like 500 yen? Or yeah. more than that. So, and how many ramen shops are there? Like 10. 10? No, it's like... <laughs> there are a lot, 12? Right? It's like 20 something, I think. Yeah. 20 yeah. something. Mm-hmm. So that means you must spend like a lot of money to get tickets to like try everything try all so how do you like know well you do it you, you do best, it like right? Natsuki was saying where you get a bunch of bowls with your friends and you tabe kurabe, you just like eat and compare. Right. I hope they change that style. If, they, if they're gonna make it into like a contest, they should have at least like, like a small cup. Of, yeah, maybe a smaller of, version. You know, a small because version. how much ramen can you really eat? Yeah, I mean, if you have a one, I don't know how big is the. I never actually been there, but and one, the, one of the people we know, Maya, I think she goes every year, and I think she like she schedules her food to like eat like two for lunch and then two for dinner one day, and then two for lunch and two for dinner the second day or something like that. Yeah, and then you know. What the funny is, you know, this is a contest. So, you know, pre- um, ramen restaurant people put a lot of know, effort, effort, mm-hmm. like, uh, extra things oh. to make it nicer. Ah. And so it's actually much nicer than real the, ramen. the real ramen that we can eat as a restaurant. I'm not going to say which one it was, but a couple of years ago, the ramen, like, what is it called? Grand Prix or something like that? Champion. Mm-hmm. We went to that restaurant and I was like, it yeah, was like, it was just kind of normal ramen. Yeah, it's not the same as the one that you eat yeah. as a restaurant. That's why probably people go. But uh, it's a good chance for the ramen restaurant because it becomes very famous uh, one day. Does it happen like twice a year or just once a year? Once a year. Once a year. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope I look forward to it next year. Well, yeah. Uh, no, that's the thing. Is I think this was the last year because Dolphin Port is changing. Right. Yeah, but they can still do it at a different place, no, right? They said this is the last one. Oh no. Temporarily last. Maybe they will do again some year. Some yeah. Way. Anyway, what happens is the I think the winner gets to um, sell their cup ramen in convenience store. It's not, you know, it's it's know. their individual things. If you know, if they want to do it, yeah, they, if they want to. Mm-hmm. It's also like they get to boast for one year, like we are number one, and then yeah. everybody goes to their shop just because they're number one. So mm. it's probably good for them. Mm-hmm. What about weird places that you guys have eaten in Japan? What's weird. some weird places? Uh, Kiseki no Tebasaki is one of my favorite restaurants here in Japan, in Kagoshima. It's uh chicken wings. Mm-hmm. They have like seven or eight flavors, and it's crazy weird because it's like. The wallpaper is written on with marker. You yeah. can write whatever you want mm-hmm. on the. That's that, that's how they decorate the place. Mm-hmm. Actually, you introduced that place to me. Did I? Same, your husband t- took you there, and mm-hmm. then you sent me a bunch of uh, pictures with the with the uh, words. Yabe, 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 yabakunai. You kept saying. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I can't remember that. Because they have all you can drink and all you can eat for yeah. 2,500 yen. That's mm-hmm. crazy good. And it's real beer. It's Asahi. It's good. Mm. They also have the man highball. Yeah, man highball. It's uh, huge. Otokomai. Yeah, otokomai they really, highball. It's, a, it's a one liter. Hey, where do you go to drink when you are in Temonkang? Where? Uh-huh. You go to Benten, right? Ah, Benten. Well, I, I go wherever. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, but I see, like, yeah. what's your favorite izakaya in Temonkang? I don't know. Nowadays, I just don't really 
He doesn't come out. Yeah,、oh, okay. I don't come out.、Mm. He's turning into his father. He's just drinking at home. Well, I mean, yeah. But I do like that Kiseki no. Tebasaki. I like that place.、Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Shout out, Maru chan. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> we did shout out the other day, didn't we? Yeah. The weird place. Remember that one time we went to, was it called Hambei or something? There was、oh, like Hambei. Showa, Showa style. They had, they it's, a like, chain, it's a chain from Tokyo. Did you、yeah. eat bag? Uh, uh, yeah, grasshopper? Yeah, bugs. Bugs. Zaza mushi, ne? Zaza mushi. I still have a grasshopper. I、they、don't. have they have grasshoppers, zaza mushi. What is zaza mushi, dude? Zaza mushi. It's like a grasshopper. No, it's like it looks like an alien. Wow. From uh, <gasps> have you guys ever eaten warasa warasebo warasabo? Ah,、uh, wara. Yeah, it's like an alien fish, right? From Saga. Saga.、Mm -hmm. Warasubo. Warasubo.、Mm -hmm. That's what it is. We'll put a picture of that on the screen.、It、looks like an alien. The alien that pops out of the chest. Yeah, I've never, I've never eaten. Movie. That's what it looks like. Yeah. But it must be very tasty, like salty. What is zaza mushi in English, Josh? It says stone fly larva. Ew. Anyway, it comes、tasty. from a, it comes from a river, I think, and they eat it in some prefecture in Japan, and it or used to. It looks really gross. Hey,、yeah. what's the weird food that America? Ooh, that's so gross. <laughs> Is that the thing that lives near the ocean? Oh no, I, my it, goodness! No, you're thinking about the little cute things that come out of the mud. No, it's not that. It's like a gross little. And anyway, they they cook it in soy sauce. Yeah, so they、sugar. turn they turn brown, pure black. Brown. Oh, just、gross. the and they they bring it to your table and they're like, "Tabe de minai," like you, you don't want to try it, and you're like, "Get away from me." Yeah, but so, you, bro, your friends do there, right? Did they so, try? So <clears throat> when we went. We went there and we、uh, we did like、uh, rock paper scissors to、uh -huh. figure out who would eat、uh, zaza mushi and the grasshopper, and then at the end everybody ate. And I don't know if I can say this on the radio, but I'll say it on the podcast. Oppai ice. Oh, is like a is a thing from like Showa era Japan. It's like a balloon、mm -hmm. that looks like the mom mommy's breast,、mm -hmm. and it's got、uh, vanilla ice cream in it. And then you cut the. Nipple, nipple part, <laughs> and then the the ice cream as it melts comes out like from mommy. With, yeah, it's called opai ice. Yeah, I, it it's, was very common when I was little. And so yeah, it's like a, it's like it was just a thing that they did during Showa, and so it's in that restaurant. And they play like old Showa、uh, enka music. Right, it's, it's like a war song. Yeah, like war, World War, war Two war song. song.、Mm. Not Enka. It is. It is interesting. It's an interesting place, and they have like fake old TVs and、mm -hmm. stuff. It's it's kind of cool. And in one of the rooms, they have like laundry hanging up、mm, on the ceiling.、Mm. So it's kind of weird. Have you guys ever been to Aiseki? Ah,、uh, place. Ah,、uh, yes. I, Not in Kagoshima though. I、okay. actually have in Kagoshima. Really? Yeah. Okay. First, for、uh -huh. those that don't know, what is Aiseki? Ya. Aisekiya is、uh, usually girls are free,、mm -hmm. yeah, drink free, drink free. Girls are free, and、uh, men have to pay by the fifteen minutes, I think it is, or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. With girls are there, they have to sit with the guy or something. Yeah, that's the rule. Yeah,、mm -hmm. or else they can't、uh, be there、mm -hmm. or something. So basically, it's like a place where girls. Uh, men meets girls、mm -hmm. to have dinner、mm -hmm. or something,、mm -hmm. and the men pay for it because the men always、mm -hmm. pay for everything.、Mm. Yes, and I, I actually never been. There are like what two or something in here in Kagoshima. One, I think it's one. But there's only yeah, one. One is closed. Maybe I don't remember. Anyway,、uh, Natsuki, you went. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, it was not Isaac here. It's a, it was a bar, something like that, and it's on the top of the building.、Mm. You know. Uh yeah 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 it's、uh, it's got the TV screens that、mm -hmm. show you how many girls and how many guys right, are right, in, right, the, right, in right, there right 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 yeah it's a lounge I forgot the name of it but yeah yeah and then I went there even though I married was it was it fashionable was it stylish yeah that was a fashionable place and then you know fifteen minutes for one thousand yen for men or something like that. Yeah, no, 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 more less than that. No, no, for men.、Mm -hmm. for I've men. never been there, but my friend went there, and he said, like, in one hour, he he spent like each man like a hundred bucks. I have no idea. Okay, you don't pay, right? I don't pay. I don't pay. Men's are pay.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it was it fun? I felt,、uh, you know, it was fun. I suppose say because you know I'm married, and you know、uh, the the guys we cannot they cannot pick girls. 
Oh, okay. They, then, the staff picks. Staff picks. So they just like put you together. Yeah, put you together. And then, you know, the guys, the boys, it was not even guy. I mean, young guy. Young guy. Like 20. Came, yeah, 20 guys came to our table. And I felt so sorry because, you You're know. You're like their mom. You're yeah, like, I know. son. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, they probably want to, you know, Younger girls. Nan pasu ruti. How do you say hit that? Hit on, hit on. Hit, hit on girls, and then you know we started something. Girls were there, and then we just want to see how it is like. And <laughs> I was so sorry for them, and I told them, "Please go, go, go." And different table. Yeah, different table, but they they can't <laughs> pick the table. Oh, they can't. Yeah, they so, can't change. Oh, they can't rad. change. So. I, what? No, there's a button in, in mm-hmm. Aiseki, uh that the guys can press. Okay. If you want to, ch- or I think either can press if you want to switch, but. I just, just you've been there. That's why you know that. No, no, no. System. I've never been. I, I went one time with uh, told me. one of our friends in Osaka. I'm not going to say who his name is, but he's kind of a shy guy, uh-huh. Japanese guy. And he wanted to go. So he said, okay, we'll go. But like, okay. The situa- in that situation, the girls are probably going to talk more to me than to him. So I pretended to not speak Japanese and just ignored them. And so he talked to them and it was just kind of, I don't know, it was just like uncomfortable, like kind of not fun. He yeah. had fun though. Yeah. Okay. But I, 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 I don't know. I would consider that. It's not weird, but it's like Japan, Japanese thing yeah you know one of those i things. don't think that you would ever see that in america or something it would just be weird Aww. yeah yeah speaking of weird let's go to today's news talk uh we have a uh, an article now wait 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 first let me ask you a question when you guys were in university when you're poor where did you guys go eat for like lunch and for dinner school lunch okay outside of school lunch you said a couple of shows ago, Natsuki, you used to go to the Katsudon place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why did you go there? It's cheap. It's cheap and big, right? Yeah. Hayato, what about you? Miyazaki, you went to university in Miyazaki. Where did you eat? Tonchan. <laughs> Tonchan <laughs> Shokudo. It, it's Okonomiyaki place? No, no, no. It's what is like it? a super, not ghetto, but like cheap. Cheap. Uh, Cafeteria. Vo- volumey. Volume. So large size, right? Yeah. So that's what a lot of college and university students go to. They go to places that give you a lot of food. So it's not necessarily the, the taste, it's the food. So this news article today does not come from Soda News 24. Not this time. It comes from Japan Today. And the, the title is, Can a curry shop legally ban you if you don't finish your rice? Uh, mm. Now let me tell you what happened. A college university student went into a curry shop and he got the he got curry and you can you can have all the rice that you want. So it's like all you can eat rice. And so he got omori, like the big size rice, but then he didn't finish it. Sometimes that happens, right? You're really hungry and you think you can eat a lot, but then you can't finish it. Uh, what do they say? Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, right? Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Anyway, this kid, he didn't he probably didn't want to do anything bad, but he couldn't finish the rice. And the owner got angry at him and said, if you're going to waste food, you can't ever come back here again. And he kicked him out. (laughs) So first, let's talk about that. What do you think? Disagree. You (laughs) like agree. Disagree. Disagree. Why do you disagree? Well, I mean, he paid, right? He paid. So. So what? He paid. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the situation, you know, you know. Maybe this restaurant is famous for like big dish, and then sometimes the you know restaurant has rule. If you can finish, if you can finish it, you pay this much mo- of money. But if you can p- finish it, like pay more. Uh, but they banned. You banned him. He can't come back. First of all, mm-hmm. let's talk about the rules in Japan. Okay, uh, if we go to like. Uh, if we go to all you can eat restaurants and we order a lot of food and we don't eat it, sometimes they make you pay for it. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But that's usually written on the menu. Right. Like if you right. don't finish everything, you have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the policy of like paying for food you don't eat? Is that good? Like as a buffet restaurant? You're buffet about? or all you can eat or something? Um, It may be good. Because if you don't have such a rule, people waste, waste food. food. Uh, okay. Hayato, what do you think about that? 
Yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a tough one. They should have a rule though. Now, uh, apparently, this curry shop had no rule. So a lawyer chimed. Uh, they asked the lawyer. The Japan Times asked the lawyer in Japan.、Mm-hmm. They said, "Can he do that?" And it says, "Well, maybe not." Right. Because if the rule was told to him before, right, 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 yeah,、mm-hmm. and then he made that mistake, then it's okay. But、mm-hmm. the rule was not told to him before,、mm-hmm. so maybe it's not okay for the owner to do that. But he doesn't. The owner didn't charge him. I mean, the customer anything,、Money. right? Just he doesn't want him to come back, right? That's it. No, he he paid for it probably at the beginning、mm-hmm. and they ate it, and then、mm-hmm. didn't finish it. So he said, "Don't ever come back." Yeah.、Uh, Okay, first, can you understand the shop owner's feelings? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I kind of do, but but who cares? I mean, if the owner says you never come back, and I feel like and I'm I'm never gonna come back here. <laughs> yeah, screw you! I'm never yes, coming yeah, back here. Screw you! <laughs> What's the problem with you? Okay, let me ask this question: Have you guys ever been banned from a restaurant before? No, or anywhere. I have to. I think that. <laughs> I don't do? remember. What did you do? I don't remember. Maybe I don't know. I forgot. I forgot. I've never been banned, but some of my friends have been banned. But that's mostly because they got drunk and then caused trouble.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now I want to talk about. So so this is this is talking about like the the idea of like wasting food.、Mm-hmm. Remember when you guys were in elementary school in Japan, like in school, like could you waste food? Like if you had a lot of rice and curry or something like that, what what would happen? Teacher make you to eat until you finish it. And if you didn't finish it, what happened? Natsuki, were you one of these kids that couldn't eat? I'm not, but I've seen those kids.、What? They cannot escape. They have to. They have to eat until <laughs> you they cannot <laughs> escape. You hear me? You cannot escape. <laughs> seriously, seriously. So you know, after like school lunch, Japanese school usually have like break time and then recess. Many- net recess. Recess. It's called recess. Okay, recess. Yeah. And then many kids are already praying as a ground, but some kids are still eating as a lunch. Right. The-、mm-hmm. the punishment for not eating in Japan is you don't get recess.、Mm-hmm. You have to sit there and look at your food、mm-hmm. until you eat it. But the kids serve the kids, right?、Mm-hmm. So. Can you choose how much food you get? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can order kids like less freeze or full freeze. Ah,、mm-hmm. Hayato, did you? Were you the type that left food on your dish, or did you eat it all? I ate it.、Yeah. I remember in my class, the fattest kid was the kid who couldn't finish all the lunch. I was like, hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> He was always the one who maybe he didn't want to play. I was okay. But I remember I worked at the kindergarten, and teachers served the lunch,、yeah. and we do kind of control the amount. I know this. Sometimes they they don't want to eat some certain type of vegetables, but sometimes you know they come and then have less rice or something.、Yeah. What What are you guys gonna do with your kids? I mean, Rico's old enough to eat right food, so. Do you? I mean, with Rico, do you, if she doesn't finish the food on her plate, do you say finish your food? Um. Now, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Or her? Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna have that. I'll have it. That's Daddy's food now. Thank、yeah. you. Because I know she's. I know she's kind of. She eats everything. So I'm not saying she. When she's full, she's full. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna force her to eat it when、uh. she's really full. So you know, if she's full, she's full. So I'm not gonna force her to eat it because she's full. Not you, your dad did it, and mom did. They force you to eat at home? No, no.、Mm. If you didn't finish your food, they would just be like, "Okay, whatever." Yeah. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Had to your father if you didn't finish your food? Did he ever? Say I don't. I don't、ah, remember. Now I remember. You know, my dad was like. It's not home. Like when we eat outside, yeah, he says you can order whatever you want, but you have to finish it if you order. Kind of the same thing as this, this article. <laughs>、mm. Is your father this curry shop owner? <laughs> <laughs> In America, we have all-you-can-eat sushi,、mm-hmm. and the rule is that you have you can't just eat the fish. You have to eat the rice too.、Mm-hmm. And they give you a lot of rice on each sushi. It's like a little bit of fish and a lot of rice, and so it's just all you can eat rice, basically.、Uh, it's、mm. really not that good. 
like if you guys ever have a chance to go to Miyazaki or Miyako no Jo, there's a buffet. It's called Stamina Taro. You should、mm. try it out. Try, try it out. I've heard of Stamina Taro. They got sushi, they have、uh, yakiniku, yakiniku, everything. Wow. Do,、oh, we, meat, do we have one in Kagoshima too? Maybe. Ah,、no. uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, uh, Aida. Uh, uh, Aida. Or、mm. Kajiki or something.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's cool. But in that case, I would say, because they probably use, you know, not. Much of that quality food. I'm like, well, well, it's good for students, right? Who are poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going to go to the listener question, which is actually along the, line, along the lines of what we're talking about right now. So, Josh, if you could ask us from Waichi Sasaki. Question is if you guys go to public places like restaurants, what language do you speak usually? I'm just curious. Uh, Mr. Waiichi is asking us when we go to restaurants, do we speak in English like we do on this show, or do we speak in Japanese? So let's go down the list, Natsuki. Oh, of course, speak Japanese. What if you're with English speaking people? If the person couldn't speak Japanese, I would speak English. But, you know, as long as he speaks Japanese, I mean, he or she, I speak Japanese. Hayato.、Uh, usually Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes、uh, Hindu. <laughs> It's Hindi, not Hindu. I'm sorry. Hindu is the religion. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mistake.、Uh, depends on who I'm with. Okay.、Yeah. Let's say if I'm with you, then English. Maybe if I'm with Natsuki, I, I would say Japanese. Yeah. Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, I think it depends on the person.、Uh, Waichi, if the people, I think it, whatever they speak to me in is what I usually respond with. If they speak to me in English, and I'll usually speak to them in English. If they speak to me in Japanese, I usually speak to them in Japanese.、Uh, but, you know, when I meet Mitch and I go to you know, a restaurant together, he speaks English and I Japanese back. She just calls me Michan. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. When me and Natsuki go out drinking sometimes, it、mm-hmm. goes, she'll speak Japanese to me, I speak English to her.、Mm-hmm. And then. It happens so funny. As we get drunker, I speak more and more Japanese. She speaks more and more English. That's true. And then she starts to speak to her own husband in English, <laughs> even though he's Japanese. And she, he'll say to her in Japanese, she'll be like, Natsuki, wakata, wakata. He kept saying, like, I understand, I understand. But she's just speaking full on English to him. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm sure. Do、trying. you think that his question is that if you go to a, like, a, let's say, restaurant in Japan, do you use. The language, like Japanese, just to be kind of like、oh, polite. Maybe. I don't know.、Uh, well, if that's the case, I definitely am not polite. I use whatever language I want to、uh, use. Yeah. To、I、the mean, waiter, yeah, you、else. speak Japanese. Oh, yeah, yeah. To the staff. Oh, <laughs> now here's a weird question. There's, like a, there's a couple of restaurants here in Kagoshima that are run by non Japanese people. I always have no idea how to talk to them. Like, there's a Sri Lankan restaurant here, okay? So I go in there and I go, Do I speak to you in Japanese or do I speak to you in English? So I sometimes do both. And they speak to me in like both. Both.、Uh, I went to the Indian curry shop near、uh, my Shiva? house, Shiva.、Yeah. Shiva. Mm-hmm. When I speak in English, they don't understand.、Aww. So I have to use Japanese. That's interesting. To Indian people. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. The common language becomes Japanese then. Yeah, yeah. So that's weird. I once went to a Chinese restaurant. I'm not going to name the place, but the, the d- donor could not speak English or Japanese. So I was Korean? like, No, no, he's, he was Chinese.、Oh, Chinese. And I was just like, Well, this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't speak Japanese. At that time, he did not. He、uh, just got here. So、oh, he, okay. he was just, he was new. But yeah. Okay. I mean, it is. Oh, but here's a fun thing. When I go to America and I'm with my mom, who's half Japanese, and if we want to have a private conversation, we will speak in Japanese. Oh,、uh, because you think nobody understands that? Well, no one, unless if they understood Japanese, they probably look Japanese, so we probably know, but. Well, you remember there are people like you in the world? Very few. <laughs> I'm very rare. <laughs> no,、uh, actually, my mom called. She's, my mom is taking care of my grandfather these days. And she called me from his house and she wanted to complain about him. So she was like, Oh, yeah, I'm just taking care of your grandfather. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's like, she's like, your grandfather is so like, annoying and blah, blah, blah. She started sp- saying to me in Japanese, and I was like, 
あ、そうですか。Yeah. That's really funny. Sometimes you feel like, oh, are these people talking about me?、Uh, you know, one of those feelings. I, do you think that's that, you think that what, what Mr. Waiichi is asking? Like, I don't think that's what he's asking, but he's, I think he's just, on, just wondering. Wanted, wanted to know、mm-hmm. like, what language do you speak、yeah. in, in. But, well, I could understand what you just said, though. When I go to Chinatown, for example, and there's like a group of Chinese people like laughing and then they're having a good time, and like maybe they look over at me, I'm like, they're talking about me. I know they're talking about yeah. me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do kind of get that. I, I know they're probably not. Maybe they are. Maybe they, <laughs> you don't know. You don't know because <laughs> you, it's a mystery. <laughs> uh, Josh in Hawaii, does anybody actually speak Hawaiian? No, nobody actually speaks Hawaiian. I mean, there are people who can speak Hawaiian, but it's not like. They speak you, you pidgin English, right? Yeah, you won't go to a restaurant and like, see two people speaking Hawaiian.、Oh. Hawaiian is like Ohana or things like that. Yeah, yeah. Olo-、uh. o- Aloha and stuff like that.、Uh. But no one, it's not a, it's not a living language.、Like, it's kind of living, but not really, right? Not really, no. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Dude,、uh, Hawaiian street names are like, because you pronounce every syllable, it's like they're so long. You、mm. pronounce Hawaiian the same as Japanese. Yeah. That's why it's not, it's not actually Hawaii. It's Hawaii. E E. There's two E's. Actually, it's Hawaii. Whatever. Shut、oh. up. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually. <laughs> um, actually. Anyway,、uh, thank you very much for that question, Mr. Waiichi Sasaki.、Uh, one more part of the comment actually says also, I want to see Josh's son on the screen. Please join conversation. So、uh, thank you for. He comes on at the end. Don't,、yeah. We don't need him. Just, here. just watch until the end. We don't have space. <laughs> I mean, we could put him here. Well, you could, he could sit on Natsuki's lap. No, I'm okay where I'm at. <laughs> Josh is actually kind of a little bit shy, to be honest. So he, I think he prefers to be over there. He enjoys that. I can、role. put your picture here. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> It's not a good idea. That,、yeah. that reminds me, we're missing yeah. someone. Yeah. We're missing someone? <laughs> yeah, it's like.、Um, oh, Saigo, Mr. Saigo. Oh,、uh, yeah. Where is he? Oh, it's okay. He'll, he's, he's on vacation today. Okay. He's worried about the Noro virus. Yeah, he's at the Hawaii. He's, <laughs> he's in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway,、uh, so all this talk about restaurants and everything has,、uh, ma- has reminded me of this week's culture corner. Last time we did the culture corner, you guys were not very good Japanese people. Okay, you didn't represent Japan very well. So this time we're going to quiz you again. This week's culture corner comes from Toronews.com. No, <laughs> Gaijin Pot. And it's called Eating Sushi the Proper Way. So before we even talk about this, let me ask you Natsuki. What is the proper way to eat sushi? Hand. Go through the whole thing. First of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, you need to clean your hands with the towel, oshibori. Okay. And then, ah, it's actually not, I mean, maybe. So, <laughs> so、um, you know, proper way is we don't use chopsticks, we use hands. Yeah, actually, yeah. A lot, a lot of people think that you eat sushi with chopsticks. Yeah. But the proper way is with hands. Hands. And you put,、uh, you grab your sushi and turn it over. And then, you know, fish side, put soy sauce just a little bit and eat. I, lo- I love your, your descriptions. The fish side. That's so, that's so accurate. That's right. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And then, if you want to clean your finger, just touch some ginger. s Shoga? Ginger? So, ginger? It's,、mm-hmm. it's ginger.、Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. All right, Hayato, go. How do you eat sushi?、Um, I'm pretty much on the same page there. Okay.、Uh, first, you book a sushi <laughs> shop. You book a sushi <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> restaurant first.、Um, make, sure you, make sure they serve、uh, quality fish. Okay. You, you gotta, gotta ask them. Mm hmm. And if they don't, call the next place、uh, and then book a place. You go、uh, bring a girl or something.、Um, now, first thing you do is what you order. See, that's, that's the most important thing. Right, right. It's not about how to eat, it's、mm. about what you order first. <laughs> okay? This is how you order. You ask the sushi master, what's. What's today's fish?、Oh, okay, special.、Yes. That, what's、mm-hmm. today's special?、Mm-hmm. That's the proper way.、Mm-hmm. And then if he says、uh, nothing, then you go home. 
<laughs> the end. Just kidding. Uh, when you grab a fish, make sure you use a thumb. Okay. Uh, f- fish, two fingers. Your point feet, pointy finger and middle finger like this. Pick it up. Soy sauce on the right side. Okay. Make sure wasabi on there. Eat it with one bite. And drink tea. No beer. Oh, yeah. Beer. Sake. 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 <laughs> And then that's it. Wipe your hands. Go home. Good night. Oh, beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Josh, do you want to try? What's the proper way to eat sushi? I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think it, they basically have the right idea where you use your hand, you roll it over using just three fingers. Yeah. Uh, fish side down. Now, that's actually opposite of what Hyatt said. Hyatt to put the, the soy sauce on the rice. Which is, what do you think? Do you guys think that's right or wrong? He, he said that on purpose, maybe. I would usually put it on the fish side. Okay, yeah. Josh? Fish side down. Then you turn it back and tilt your head, you tilt your head back. You, you eat it in one bite, obviously. And eat swallow one it. Bite. Swallow it. All right. The correct way. The okay. correct answer. Okay. Mm-hmm. You were right. Three fingers, okay? Your index finger, middle finger, and thumb. You grab the sushi, and now there's there's even like a more polite way to do this. If the soy sauce is in front of you, in one motion, you dab the fish side, and then bring it up, and then eat very very like like one motion, like a like a like a like this kind of thing, and then you eat it just like Josh said. You can tilt your head back a little bit, and you have to eat it one bite. One bite. Now, <clears throat> what did you just say about the ginger? The ginger that was actually really interesting. Say that again. Wash your finger. Is that real? I just saw on the, the on TV. Oh. Yesterday or the day before. Yeah, you can use the ginger to wash your, uh, not wash, but like kind of like, you know, clean off the soy sauce or whatever. But like the real reason for it is because uh, it's supposed to clean your palate. Cleanse your palate. Cleanse your palate. What's like, that? Get rid of the, the, the flavor from oh, the previous piece. Oh, for the next to see. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, question. Okay. When you eat the sushi, can how much of your portion of your finger are supposed to be wet, like touching your mouth? I don't think it's supposed like to get wet. I think it's supposed to stay dry mostly. First. You have to let go, like ah. Yeah, you're supposed to, you're supposed to eat it in one bite, and then yeah, you, yeah, but like can you tuck your finger? You're supposed. No, no, no. You're not supposed to. It's just like your su- your 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 oh. chopsticks. You're not supposed to. Like lick or suck your chopsticks mm-hmm. clean. Oh, I suck it all the time. Oh no! Oh no no! But anyway, so uh, that's the proper way. Yeah, so it's like one nice little motion like this. Italian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, I actually went to a very expensive uh, sushi restaurant here in Kagoshima. I'm not going to name the name. It was really expensive, but I went there with one of my. You can kind of call him like a senpai. Like he's like a. Or the friend. He's a CEO of a company, and he teach. I'm a, also a small company CEO, and he teaches me a lot of things. So we went to the sushi restaurant, and he watched me eat sushi, and he was like, "Listen, boy, <laughs> that's not how we eat sushi in this country." <laughs> so he taught me. No, he's he's really kind actually, and so he taught me the proper way of eating sushi, and it was it was actually really interesting. The whole sushi bar got involved. Like everybody was like trying to teach this guy Gene how to like eat sushi properly. It was really funny. That is nice. Uh, the, the one sushi restaurant you went, you, you told me that, you know, there is a waterfall. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. Water hands. Okay. Queen. So, yeah, that was, that's near here, actually. It's like a very Showa era style restaurant. Mm-hmm. And they, in front of you is running water. Mm-hmm. It's coming out of a little hole. So you can clean your hands on it. It was I, really cool. Yeah, I thought that's cool. Yeah. I guess it was really popular during the Showa era, but now it's not so... Mm. It's not so popular. And another sushi restaurant that I went to that's kind of popular here in Kagoshima, they have a long granite like piece of granite in front of the counter, and that's the plate. So the sushi master puts all the sushi just on the counter directly, mm, and then they oh. clean it. It is really cool. Mm. I like sushi. I like sushi too. Did you guys, uh, what's your favorite sushi, your kaiten sushi, or what is it called? Sushi go round, conveyor belt sushi? How do you say kaiten sushi? Sushi go round or sushi would, conveyor? I would call it sushi go round. Sushi go round. I would call it sushi go round. Josh, what do you say? 
Conveyor belt sushi. I'd call it sushi go round. What did you say? Conveyor? The belt is、uh-huh. called conveyor belt.、Uh-huh. But conveyor I, belt sushi. I would call it sushi go round. Sushi go round. Sounds more fun. Merry go round. Yeah, sushi go round. Anyway, favorite? Yeah.、Mm. Quality wise, I would say Mekemon. Uh, yeah, Mekemon's good. Mekemon is the、uh, you know many people don't know except Kagoshima people. Only it's only Kagoshima. Yeah, yeah. but, yeah. but, the, but the price price I would say Kurazushi. Ah,、uh, one hundred. Oh yeah. Yen. It's crazy how they can get it so cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, I watched a documentary on that on Kaiten Sushi, and they in the bowl、uh, in the plate in the bottom there's a chip. Like a、uh, mm, microchip, mm, 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 so mm, a computer mm, system knows how long the food has been on the belt,、mm-hmm. and it automatically throws it away when it's too old. Yeah, and also kurazushi, they have, like you said, they have microchips on the plate, and so you can throw the plate into certain place, and then they calculate how much you eat. Yeah, automatically. Yeah, it's really、mm-hmm. high tech. It's cool.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey、guys, if you、uh, are watching us from abroad and you've never been to Japan, that's one thing you gotta do while you're here. Is go to I call it sushi go round, but Josh is emphatic that it is conveyor belt sushi. Uh, yeah. Are there any such a system in the overseas? No. No. We have it in Hawaii. We have Genki sushi, but it might just because we're Hawaii. Well,、oh, yeah, I got a lot of、uh, Japanese yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Sushi train, baby. Oh、uh, yeah, when they come out in the Shinkansen, yeah, bullet train, and then they go back. That's yeah. Kinda cool. A different story, but did you know that there's a sweets go round nowadays? Really? Yeah, like many mini sweets are going around. No, I did not know that. What in sushi restaurant? No, this is completely different restaurant. Oh, really?、Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, that's been our show. Look, Natsuki's earrings are still sitting here on the table. Yeah, because you know I wear how do you say this headphone Head- headphone, and then you know my earrings hurting me. That's why I left it on the table. <laughs> Sorry, Saigo. He wasn't here today.、Mm. We'll have him next time. Anyways, if you guys ah,、uh, first of all, if you guys have an audience question for us, we will leave all of our social media on here on the screen: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. What else have we got? They can also just comment below. You can give us a comment. This is YouTube, guys. You can comment right below this video. Oh, telepathy. <laughs> We can try. To- <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, start. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Anyways, if you enjoyed the show, please like us and share us with your friends, and subscribe to never miss an episode. Also, give us a comment below, or use telepathy, <laughs> maybe for Hayato. That's high tech. It's、oh, really high、goodness. tech. Yep. Oh, that was funny. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Small Talk Kagoshima. Small Talk Kagoshima is recorded in Kagoshima at Story Studios. This week's episode stars Michi, Natsuki, and Hayato. The audio mixing is done by Hayato, and is produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. This program is brought to you in part by Quantize, Mu FM. Sengayen and Harada Gakuen. Special thank you to everyone who submitted questions, videos, and pictures. You can submit to our Twitter at Kago Talk or our Facebook page Small Talk Kagoshima, or you can add us online by searching Kago Talk. If you enjoyed listening to the show, you can subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave us a review and let us know what you think. Thank you, and see you next week.